Okay? So, good afternoon, class. No? So, our topic for today is all about scatter diagram, linear regression equation, person's coefficient correlation. Okay? Now, uh, what is the use of linear regression equation? So, the primary use of linear regression equation is for forecasting or prediction. But meron itong condition, no? Uh, it should uh, have strong relation, yung dalawang variables, so hindi pa sa dalawa. But this time, no, you'll tackle only one y or one dependent variable and one independent variable. Okay, so ibig sabihin, maano siya, ma splat siya into x and y axis. Okay, so again, the purpose of linear regression equation is for prediction or for casting. Now, to measure yung strength ng dalawang variables, we'll be using the person's coefficient correlation or person's correlation correlation coefficient. No? So, uh, yun yung palaging partner. Okay? Para magamit mo yung linear regression equation, dapat ma-prove mo muna na may strong relation yung dalawa. Okay? So, how to measure the, the relationship, gano'ng ka-strong yung relationship yung dalawa, we also put a person's coefficient correlation. Okay? For example, okay, the given data here, okay, just think of uh, let's say I will uh, baga, think of other variables let's say may kinalaman ba yung paglalaro ng dota ng sudyante doon sa grado niya sa example uh, sa isang uh, subject for example circuits no? that's the, the question no? if merong kinalaman you should prove na merong strong relationship yung dalawang variables. Now, under statistics, okay, dapat lahat measurable. Kung hindi, mahirapan tayo mag-treat or gumamit ng basic tools sa statistics. For example, the mean, median, saka mode. Mahirap yun i- uh, mabaga, kapag uh, answer natin is qualitative. No? One of the example of qualitative is yung, yung opinion. Okay? Regarding yung isang facility. No? That's difficult to to treat no? in statistics kasi hindi nga siya ma-measure. Okay? Now, let us think of paano na ba natin ma-measure yung paglalaro ng estudyante do, ng Dota or online games o pag nawiwili sa pag nunood ng Korea novela. Okay? So, we think of measurements, units. Sa palagay ko, mas okay siya kapag measure natin yung paglalaro ng estudyante in terms of hours or time. Okay? For example, okay, Imagine this one is the number of hours students spend in the online games. For example, in four hours, let's say that will be uh, per week, no? Uh, four hours. Okay. So the other variable, let us assume, example, is yung kanyang grado. Okay. Let's say this one is quiz, okay, out of 30. Kapag lalaro ka ng Dota every week or online ga games, Four hours per week. Ito yung result ng scores mo sa quiz. 16 over 30. Kung lalaro ka ng five hours per week, 22. And so on and so forth. No? That's the meaning of the table. So you're asked, okay, meron bang pinalaman yung paglalaro ng, ng, uh, ng studyante, no? Doon sa grado niya sa circuits. Okay? So let us uh, check kung meron talaga. Okay? But this one, assume as sales. Okay? And demand. Okay? So, yun ang assumption dito. Okay? Nirelate ko lang sa inyo para maintindihan nyo kung ano ba sabihin ng table na ito. No? At saka yung correlation at saka linear regression later. Okay? So, we want to know if there is strong relation or weak relation. Okay? Kapag strong, yun masasabi mo that I can use the equation to predict, for example, naglaro ka ng, let's say, 15 hours. Okay? Ito yung maging grado mo sa so quiz na out of 30 points. Okay? Okay. In these two uh, variables or factors, no? example, paglalaro ng DOTA, the question is, is it independent variable or dependent variable? When we're talking about dependent variable, baka nag -rely, no? Dependent ka sa mama, parents mo. No? Okay, financially, okay? dependent ka. Independent means uh, hindi mo kailangan yung ibang tao para makastan ka financially, independent. 
in that case, ang sinabi ko bago lang, I think we will agree that the dependent variable doon is yung grado mo. Kasi mag-rely siya doon sa paglalaro ng dota mo. That's the assumption there, no? Kung mataas yung time na spend mo sa paglalaro ng dota or online games, baka bababa yung grado. Okay? That's the assumption there. So therefore, yung ating dependent variable natin doon is your grado sa circuits. Independent variable is yung iyong number of hours sa paglaro ng online games. Okay? So in this case, sales natin is will be your independent variable. Ang demand will be the dependent variable. And uh, X is always your independent variable. Nakalagay dito, class, ha? And your Y is your dependent variable. Okay, highlighter lang tayo. Okay? So, yung linear regression equation has this general form. Can you look at the screen, Liho class? It's y hat is equal to a plus bx. Sa ibang libro, this is y is equal to, I think, b plus mx. Okay? Where your, uh, in this formula, b is the slope of the line and a is the y-intercept. Okay, malito with other authors class sa libro. Kasi nga, yung kanilang pag-express ng general formula is m plus Ano, B plus M, uh, MX. No? So therefore, yung B nila doon is the Y-intercept. Okay? Here, ang Y-intercept natin is A and ang slope natin is B. Okay? Sa ibang libro again, B is the Y-intercept kasi M ang kanilang slope. Okay? So, yung slope natin or B dito sa ating general formula, meron ganitong, uh, form, uh, ganitong uh, formula, no? B is equal to this formula. And Y-intercept, meron ganitong formula. Other books that is equal to the average of y minus b times the average of x. Okay. Pareho lang din yung answer dapat. Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, the instruction here, you're asked to first plot the uh, scatter diagram, then solve for the linear regression equation and correlation. Okay. When you look at the screen, the hook the class. So let us familiarize the formula. Okay? But before that, let us plot muna. Okay? To plot the, uh, the scatter diagram, okay, tingin lang doon sa given. Okay? 4 and 6 will be your first ordered pairs. Okay? Pair pala. The second ordered pair is 5 and 22. Then third pair, is, ordered pair is 9 and 11 and so on and so forth. There are how many ordered pairs? There are seven. Okay? There are seven. No. Okay, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay, let us plot. No? First ordered pair is four and sixteen. Now, how how will I decide for the interval sa graph? No? I suggest, okay, tingnan nyo muna yung given. Okay, ang pinakamababa sa given sa x is 4. Pinaka-highest is 20. 22, I mean. Okay, so doon tayo magbabasi ng, ng uh, interval. So I think much better gamitin ng interval ng 2, no? So 2, 4, 6, 8, hanggang aabot tayo ng 22. So why? I think 3 ang yung first, yung uh, lowest, and highest is 22 pa rin. So, kung pwede din ang 2 na interval. So, mag-interval tayo ng 2 sa x at y. So, gawin natin, no? Okay, yan. Sa x natin, interval is 2. 2, 4, 6 hanggang 22. Remember, nagbase ako sa highest. Okay, 22. At saka yung lowest, which is 2 sa x. Sa so y, okay, 3. Okay, so, can also use 2 as minimum value. Highest is 22. Okay, so, I came up with this kind of interval. Okay, first ordered pair, tingin tayo sa given, 4 and 16. Okay, check. X is equal to 4. Okay, dito. There, no? Then 16 yung ating Y. Ito. Okay, draw imaginary line, here visually, 2 and 16. So, nag-intersect siya dito. So, this is the first point, no? Intersection ng 2 at saka 16. Okay. Next, the second ordered pair is 5 and 22. 5 and 22. Okay, sorry, so 4 pala kanina. 
uh, na mention ko four uh, two four and sixteen pala okay my mistake four at saka sixteen okay ito okay the second ordered pair is five and twenty two five and twenty two so x is five in between four and six then twenty two okay there ito yon no yan okay second ordered pair third you have nine and eleven x is 9 in between 8 and 10 then 11 between 10 and 10. ito yon okay hanggang matapos yung 7 okay so ito na isura without the line huh? without this line so that's the scatter point okay i hope claro no next we're asked to solve for the linear regression equation again this is represented by this general form no so let us solve first for the b then followed uh, ng, ng A. Okay? So, by looking your formula, kailangan natin kunin yung summation ng X, summation ng Y. You need to square each of the X and you need to multiply X and Y. Okay? Now, sa table mamaya, na kung napansin nyo, wala doong Y squared. Okay? Pero, na, uh, what I mean, walang Y squared dito, pero merong Y squared dun sa table. It's because, nag-advance na ako kasi, sa correlation coefficient natin, meron kasing y squared. Okay? Para isang table na lang lahat ba? Okay? But you don't need that y squared in solving B. Okay? So, let's start. Okay? Kailangan natin ng x squared. Okay? Gawin lang natin siyang vertical yung ating uh, form ng table. No? So, ito uh, x. Okay? Ito yung x values. We'll look at the screen. x values. Ito yung y values. Okay, we need the, the uh, summation of x muna, no? You add all. Use your calculator, please. The answer is 88. Okay. So, y, you add all the value of y. The value is uh, 92. Okay. Next, kasi kailangan natin summation of x squared. Squared muna natin. Square muna natin yung kada sales or x. So, 4 squared will give you 16. 5 squared will give you 25. So, naglagay na ako ng example dito how to solve 16 sa 25. And so on and so forth. So, I'm sure 22 raised to the power of 2 squared is, will give you 484. Okay? Now, next. You need to get the summation of y squared. So, let us square each of the y. Okay? 16 squared. Okay? May dito yung kanyang formula, no? Is equal to 256. Then, 22 squared will give you 484. Hanggang matapos itong pinakalas, which is 17 raised to the power of 2 squared, will give you 289. Okay, remember, we need the value mamaya sa correlation ng summation ng y squared. Okay? Sa b mamaya, summation of x squared. Okay, you add all the, square, the squares of x, that should give you 1,406. Just double check na lang later, class. No? Okay, this one also, you add all the summation of y squared, that will give you 1,464. Okay? So, kailangan pa natin ng x times y. Okay? So, 4 times 16. Okay, ito yung formula sa gilid. will give you 64. 5 times 22 will give you 110. Hanggang matapos yung pinakalas, 22 times 17, 374. Since sa formula, you need to add all the products of x and y, you add. Okay. The summation though is 1,011. Now, nandiyan na lahat ng kailangan natin. Ito yung formula. I copy-paste that here. Okay. Substitute. Okay. 7 is yung number of pairs okay, doon sa table. Okay. Remember, binilang natin ito. So that is why n is equal to 7 here. Summation of xy, ito yun. Ayan. Next, minus summation of x, 88. There. Next, summation of xy, so, yan. Divided by 7 pa rin. It is equal to n. Then times summation of x squared, which is, yun sa taas, 1,406. Correct. Okay. Minus summation of x, okay, 88 yun. Then you square. Okay. Now, using your calculator, please, uh, yung practice kayo, ha, class, use your calculator. So, nahihirapan kayo uh, sa calculator kasi minsan ang calculator kailangan mag-open close parenthesis eh. So, you just write sa piece of paper. Ano bang numerator? Ano yung denominator? Isa kanyo siya, i-divide. 
yung numerator is equal to 1,000, a uh, negative 1,090. And your denominator is equal to 2,098. You divide, you get the quotient that will give you negative 0 0.4, uh, negative 0 0.486. So that will be the value of your B. So meron ka ng value ng B. Okay? Now, since you need B to solve for A, we can also proceed with solving A. The summation of Y nasa taas, okay, Y, that is 92. That's why 92 here. Then minus, okay, ano na solve natin dito? Okay, just uh, substitute, no? Times summation of X, okay, 88. Okay, divided by N, the 7. Okay, using your calculator, the answer should be, the numerator should be 134.768. By the way, class, kapag hindi pa siya final answer, I strongly advise to please run off to at least three decimal points. Get the three decimal points tayo dito. Okay, that is equal to 19 point, okay, after you get the quotient, no? 19.256. Okay, so meron tayong value sa A. So after that, you go back with this uh, general form of your linear regression equation. Okay, it's an equation, no? So palitan lang natin ng value ng A, which is uh, 19... Uh, 0.256 okay, minus value of B. Okay, remember this is plus, no? This is negative. So, mag-change operation ng minus. Okay, 0 0.486. Mara-retain yung variable na X because this is equation. Okay? Again, just retain the, val the variable X or letter X because this is an equation. So, ito na yung answer natin for the linear regression equation. So, I told you a while ago, this can be used for prediction or forecast uh, for forecasting values, no? but may condition nito. Dapat ma, ma, ma strong yung relationship ng dalawang variable. Okay? Then that we could be measured by your correlation. Okay, next. We are asked to plot this equation. Okay? Itong y hat is equal to 19.256 minus 0.486x. Uh, so how to plot? Remember, during high school, Okay, in plotting the equation, you need to assume values. No? So I, ad I advise in uh, assuming values, doon sa given, okay, ang x yung basihan natin palagi. Okay, assume the lowest value. O pwede din siyang mas lower pa sa lowest na value. For example, 3, 2, 1. Okay lang yun. Masa huwag ka lang lumampas sa 4. No? And the highest value, in this case, 22. Okay, po pwede kang mag go beyond no to the highest value ng x pwedeng 23 24 25 but i advise okay yung bumaba okay so para safe kay palagi gamitin niyo lang pinaka lowest sa highest sa x so gaya nito no the lowest is 4 okay using this formula okay using this formula or the equation linear regression equation you substitute 4 okay dito sa x so that will give you the value of, okay, multiply, then isubtract natin sa 19.256. Just substitute plus, no? The value is 17.312. So meron ka ng isang ordered pair. 4 at saka 17.312. Roughly, this is 17.5. Para madali natin siya ma-plot sa ating graph. Okay? Now, isang point pa lang yun. So kailangan natin at least dalawa para ma-connect natin to create this uh, linear graph no? or line graph. So we need another one. Okay, I suggest yung, pinaka, yung isa is pinakamababa, yung isa pinakamataas sa x. So pinakamataas sa x 22. So 22. You substitute dito sa equation that will give you 8.564. Okay? So that is the second ordered pair para makonect natin later. No? So that's roughly 8.5 pa rin, no? para madali natin ma-plot. Let us plot, no? Okay, uh, first ordered pair is 4 and 17.5, 4 dito. 17.5 in between 16 at saka 18. So, ito yun, no? Yan. Okay? The second ordered pair is 22 dito and 8.5. O, sobra sa 8.5 sa gitna nito. So, ito yun. Okay? So, you have two points and yun lang yung i-coconnect natin. Yung dalawang points na yung class, ha? Wala nang iba class, no? O, do not... Uh, connect the points. Kundi tayo connecting dots. Madalas ginagawa yung sa ko. 
Okay, I did not instruct you to do that. No? Ang kinoconnect lang natin yung assume values ng, ng x. Okay? Then you substitute doon sa linear regression equation. Okay, we are done. Sa exam siguro, this is worth maybe uh, 25 points. Okay? Okay, after that, di ba sabi ko, this is used for prediction. Let us measure the relationship of the two variables okay, using the correlation coefficient. Okay? Person's correlation coefficient. So, ito yung Okay, ito yung formula sa itaas. No? As you can see, itong portion sa numerator niya is almost, or is exactly the same with your uh, B. Okay? Napansin nyo ba? That exactly sa Okay, ito sa itaas. No? They're the same. No? Okay, pwede compare ko lang. Ibalik ko lang later. No? Ayan. Okay, let us have a comparison. Tas, no? okay, same. No? Same. A portion of your denominator is the same also here. Nadagdag lang itong, itong portion na ito. That is why you really need to get the, the, uh, the, the summation of the squares of your y. Ito yun. Okay? So let us substitute. Okay, enlarge natin. Okay? The value of n... A7, correct? Dito sa, sa, sa iba ba, no? Pareho lang itong discuss ko kanina, no? Shall I jump here? Okay, dito na ako mag-jump pa. Plus n is equal to, ito sa taas, no? 7. Summation of y squared, ibalik ko sa table. Summation of y squared is equal to 1,464. Okay? That is why it should be 1,464. Okay, there, no? Minus... Okay, 92 yung summation of y, no? Tatandaan naman siguro natin, 92. The square. Don't forget na may square root yung ibaba. Okay? May square root yung ibaba. So, ginawa ko dito, para mag-guide kayo, solve ko muna yung numerator. That is equal to negative 1,019. Familiar kanina, no? This is the same, no? 1,019 din siya sa b. Okay? Yung sa ibaba, okay, isa-isahin natin, no? Itong portion na ito, the answer is 2,000... Uh, 98. Okay? And this portion is ito yung bago, no? Okay, double check na lang later, class, ha? 1,784. You multiply, then after multiplying, okay, you get the square root, so ito yung square root niya. 1,934.64, no? Or 9. Yeah. Okay, I'm brushing off ng writing. Then you get the quotient, okay, numerator and denominator, the answer is is equal to negative point Okay? Now, naka-attach ito palagi sa exam or sa quiz itong uh, presentation, uh, interpretation ng uh, correlation. Don't worry, you don't need to memorize. No? Pero nung si Janty ako, pinamemorize sa amin. Kasi what's the point? It's we are online. May control ba ako kung open yung hindi? So wala. So mag-expect, mag-ano mag, mag, na lang ako, mag-sabi na lang ako na isama ko na lang. No? Para, ano, hindi na ako mag-assume na mag-open ng notebook. Okay? So, can you look at the uh, the value of negative 0.53 dito sa range? No? So, nabilong siya dito sa third na row. Okay? Negative 0.5 to negative 0.7. That is moderate negative correlation. Huwag nyo isamang positive kasi, kasi negative na ito. So, negative correlation. That is the interpretation. Now, there are times na, for example, okay, Ito yung assumption natin, no? Uh, what if, sir, ano, uh, given yung x, okay, can you predict the value of y? Again, I told you that the purpose of linear regression is for prediction for casting. Yes, you can, no? How? Just the same dito sa assumption natin, okay, just substitute, okay? Substitute lang natin to get the value of y. May cases na nagbibigay ako ng ganyan sa problem. Again, please substitute lang. No? Okay, we still have time. Okay, tapusin na lang natin, class. Okay, I'm sure you are interested how to check if these values are correct using the Excel. Okay, copy-paste natin. Copy. And I will open some open as Excel. Okay. 
Okay, paste. Okay. X value. Okay, later ko na enlarge class. Ah. 5, 9, 12, 16, 20, 22. Okay? Y, I have 16, 22, 11, 16, 7, 3, 17. Okay? This is for checking purpose kasi hindi kayo lahat merong computer siya laptop. No? So during the quiz assignment or seat work, you are not allowed to use Excel para yun yung isasubmit sa akin. No? You can only use this for checking purpose only. Enlarge natin. Okay, ito yung given. No? Okay. Now, how to plot the scatter diagram? You highlight all the uh, quantities or numbers. Okay, highlight by clicking the left button of the mouse. You hold. Okay, you move your cursor. You hold. You're holding your left button of the mouse. Class, no? you're holding the. Okay, again, it will be tell one. No, uh, go to the left. Uh, no, right, no, right. Para ma highlight baba. Again, you're holding the left button of the mouse. No, be tell one. No, Ayan. Highlight na. Then insert. Then press scatter. Okay. Piliin nyo ito. Okay. Ito yung ginawa natin kanina. Okay. Again, this is for checking purpose only. I think they're the same. No? You compare later. No? Pero gumamit siya ng interval na 5. Gumamit ako ng 2. Walang problema. Tapos pareho naman isura niya. Okay. How to plot the linear regression equation? Just click any scatter, scatter points. Just isa lang. No? Click right click. Right click. Okay. Then add trend line. Click the add trend line. So, nalabas itong, itong ano to, window ba tawag dito? Then, click display equation on the chart. Okay. And close. Automatically, binibigyan niya itong uh, linear regression equation. Okay? So, automatically, binibigyan niya yung value dito ng B at saka uh, A. So, class, no? napansin niyo, sir, nauna lagi itong ano, sir, may X kaysa dun sa iyo. That is called the commutative property of uh, addition. No? Okay lang yan siya magbalik na they're the same. Ha? Huwag kayong mali ito. No? Baka sabihin nyo, magkaiba siya. Pareho lang siya. Okay, mauna ba siya dito? Okay, itong portion na ito is a dito. They're the same. Okay? Ayo, klaro. Now, sir, uh, I want to check kung tama ba yung manual ko. You can do that during, uh, using the Excel also. No? Example, you need the values of x squared, no? x raised to the power of 2, shift, 6, so, naglalabas yung parang hat, 2. Also need the uh, value of the uh, y squared, y, shift, 6. You also need the value of x times y. Okay? So, ito yun, no? Yan. Okay, compare tayo. Again, for checking purpose only. We will create a formula here. Okay, go to that cell. Uh, kung saan yung lagay yung formula. Equals. Okay. You need to square each of the x. Press that cell. Kung nasaan yung first datum ng x. Shift 6. Para lalabas itong hat na to. Ibig sabihin, uh, that's the command. And uh, raise to the power of, in this case, 2. Squared man. No? Enter. Okay. The answer is 16. Now, since you already uh, created the formula here, go to the bottom uh, right portion of this cell, antayin nyo, you move the cursor, no? mag-change siya sa solid na cross, you click the left button of the mouse, okay, you hold, then you drag that to baba. Automatically, it will copy the formula, it will give you the answer. Okay, so let's compare. No? Pareho naman siya. No? Okay, pareho, pareho. Okay, another one. Okay, uh, y, so ito yung first value ng y. No? Raise to the power of 2, shift, 6, and 2, enter. Okay, we already created the formula, no? Okay, check, ano lang natin yung kanyang format. Okay, you move the cursor dito sa left, uh, right, lower bottom. Okay, mag-change the solid cross. You click the left bottom of the mouse, you hold. Then, birahin natin pa baba. Okay, automatically, kang tama naman. Pareho naman siya, no? Okay, here, okay, you need to multiply the first da uh, data or datum sa x. Shift 8. 
Okay? Asterisk means multiplications Excel, no? Then, this cell, okay? First datum sa Y. Then, enter. Okay? The answer is 64. Okay. Use lang natin yung format. Okay? You move the cursor, mag-change a solid na cross. You, you click the left button of the mouse. You hold, then you drag pa baba. Automatically, it will copy the formula. Let us check. That is correct, no? Next, we need to get the summation of Okay, summation of x, summation of y, summation of x squared. All you need to do is to click, okay, go to the cell na gusto mo ilagay yung formula. Double click this auto sum. Okay, 88 yung answer. Okay, format lang natin para magagaling na. Then since you are, you want also to get the, uh, the sum no, of all of the per column, kopyahin lang natin yung formula. Okay, you go to the lower part of the cell sa bottom, sa right. Okay, hintayin mag-change. Click, okay, you left bottom of the mouse, you hold, then you drag that to the right. Okay. Automatically, it will copy all the, the formula na kailangan mo. As you can see, nandiyan na yung answer. Okay, again, this is for checking purpose only. Okay? So, napansin yung binibigay ko na quiz sa inyo, hindi siya naka-word or PDF kasi kaka-copy-paste na sa Excel. Okay. Usually, nagbibigay ako ng picture. Okay, isa pang paraan. So after you don't class, you can uh, substitute to the formula using your calculator, then you have the, the uh, answer. No? Now, uh, aside from this, what you can go in is slope. This is for the value of B, no? And uh, X intercept. Y intercept. Y intercept. Or A, okay? B natin, ang answer dapat is negative 4, uh, 4, 8, 6. Yun ang answer natin kanina eh. Okay. Go to that cell. Gusto mo ilagay yung answer. Equals. Tapos, you type slope. And you click that command. Okay. It says there that Y muna. You follow the instruction of the Excel. Ah. Y. Okay. You hold your, click the left button of the mouse. Okay. You click. Then you hold. Then you drag pa baba. Then, Kama, first the uh, data na x, okay, click, then you hold the left button of the mouse, you highlight, okay, you drag, enter. It should be negative 0.486. Okay, let us check. Okay, pareho na. Okay. In the y intercept or a, okay, equals intercept. Ito. Click. Nakalagay y muna. Okay. Highlight yung lahat ng y, kama. Then highlight yung value ng x comma. Then enter. Okay, the same, the same. Now for the correlation, remember our correlation kanina is negative 0.53, no? Okay, gawin lang natin is equals, scorel. Okay? Nakalagay ito array 1 and array 2. Uh, ibig sabihin, pwede siya magbaliktad. Kung gusto unahin yung x, okay lang, no? Kaya wala naman siya naka-instruction dito. So this time, kung gusto unahin yung value ng x. Okay. Huwag niyong isama yung variable sa task class. Go to the first datum ng x. Okay. You highlight yung comma. Then, the second array. No? Then, enter. So, as you can see, pareho yung answer natin dito. And that's the time that you need to interpret. Okay. Kailangan niyo pa rin yung, yung, ano, yung uh, basis natin for interpretation. This is uh, ano ba yung interpretation? Negative uh, moderate uh, correlation. No? Ibig sabihin, hindi talaga siya perfect, no? Okay, so this is how to check using your Excel. Now, the question now, anong gamit ito sa real-life situation, sir? So, I already uh, cited an example, no? Example tayo. Para mas makatotohanan. Isasadyain ko na may kinalaman yung paglalaro ng Dota na sudyante doon sa grado niya sa circuits. Example, no? Number of hours... Playing online games. Okay? So, per week tayo. Kung naglalaro ka ng 10 hours per week, grado mo siguro sa quiz, example lang, no? Or sa circuit na lang siguro, or math, example na lang, average, grades in math, that's quantifiable in uh, points siguro, no? Let's say, 10 hours medyo, ano? So, pasado. Uh, 65. Sa... Tama ba? Zero, uh, 60 to 64 is stress. Kailangan nyo mapasa. 65 ba dapat yung makuha, no? Kung 
kung board course kayo, no? So, naglaro ka ng 20 hours, okay? Let's say, bumagsak, no? So, let's say, 55. Okay, 10 yung interval. Okay? Kung naglaro ka ng uh, 5 hours lang, yung grado is 70. Okay? Pag nag, uh, hindi ka naglalaro, pero hindi ka siya nag-study, no? See, let's say 0, your score is 75. Okay? Isang pasaway, yung laro talaga palagi, 30 hours, yung grado niya is 45. Okay? So, you want to prove kung strong relationship ng dalawang variable. Okay? So, again, I told you that could be measured using the, the correlation. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, excel tayo, ha? is equal to Isinadya ko ito plus na merong pinalaman, no? So, I am assuming this one is, uh, <clears throat> it could be either negative or positive 1. No? So, ito titignan ko, uh, pataas, pa, 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 uh, pataas yung paglaro mo ng, ng games, bababa yung grado mo. Okay? So, kung pataas, yung bababa, that is uh, reverse, ba? Reverse yung kanyang relationship. So, in, so in short, negative dapat yung ating answer sa correlation. Okay? It's equal to correl okay, array 1. Unahin natin itong x, no? Okay. So, as you can see, tama yung aking assumption that should be 1, negative 1.0. Or that is perfect correlation, no? So, ano bang ating interpretation kapag 1.0? Very high, no? But other uh, books, ang nakalagay nila dito is a very uh, ne very high negative correlation kapag saktong 1.0 that's perfect correlation big sabihin ang strength niya is 100% of the time na tama yung claim na teacher niyo or parents niyo na kapag naglalaro kayo ng Dota bababa yung grado niyo for online games no? this is assumption only class ha? example lang ha huwag mag-react iba okay so in short okay, kapag kinuna natin ng uh, ng linear regression equation, okay, ganito mangyayari, no? Dapat, may trend siya na sakto, okay, na matatamaan lahat ng scatter points ng linear regression equation. Okay? So, check natin. Highlight natin. First, insert the scatter. Okay? There. Okay? That's our analysis here, no? Since the... Uh, pinilit natin na meron pinalaman talaga, no? <clears throat> Check natin kung matatamaan lahat, ha? Okay, click any points, add trend line, tapos check display on the chart. Okay? So, tama yung assumption natin, analysis, tatamaan talaga siya. It means to say that the linear regression, the scatter diagram, kung mga minimeasure niya kung gaano kalayo, okay, yung mga points doon sa linear regression equation. So, in, in short, pag mas malapit siya, Okay? Mas mataas yung correlation. So, makasa, maka, pwede, pwede mong sabihin that meron talagang kinalaman yung dalawang variable sa, sa isa't isa. Pag malayo siya, scatter siya, weak yung kanyang relationship. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, the role of the linear regression, parang, parang i-minimeasure niya ba na, na ano, parang ano siya, basis siya, pag malapit yung mga points doon, okay, strong. Okay? Pag malayo, scattered siya. Okay, o ba weak, weak yung kanyang relation. Now, I told you this is for prediction. Okay. Sir, kung strong pa relationship ni sir, we can predict ba? Example, may isang sudyante sir that naglaro siya ng, ang wala dito is uh, 15 hours. Seven, sabihin natin, 7 hours. 7 hours siya naglalaro in average ng online games. Ano kayang grado niya sa, sa math? So, here, x yung ating independent variable, y natin yung math. So, substitute mo lang yung 7. Okay, what if 7? Ano kaya yung kayo mag sa math? Okay? So, substitute natin that will become negative 7 plus 75. Okay? That will be give you, then man, uh, 68, no? Wrong, 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 68. 
So, grado mo sa math is 68 kapag nalaro ka ng online games or other computer games. No? So, what do you think is the the, the the use of this today? May nagawa ba ng research that may kinalaman ba yung pagbakuna ng vaksin ng tao doon sa pagbaba ng number of deaths? Okay? Because the claim is that pag nagpabakuna ka, bababa yung number of deaths. Okay? So I'm sure ginamitan nila ng correlation. And they're, they're saying that merong kinalaman. I'm sure the correlation is very high. Okay? So that's the purpose of your correlation. If you go to, to example, uh, diba, trading, kung alam mo yung mga factors that will affect the, the value of the dollars, uy, marunong ka mag-trading. Pero that's impossible, class, no? That wala pang nakakaalam, eksakto ang mga factors that will predict the value of dollars. Kung meron mang trend, okay, it's always a gamble. Okay? May trend siya ng konti, okay? We will not sell your dollars. Next time na lang. Okay? Na medyo uh, pababa. Magkita ka na parang pataas yung dollars, so magbenta ka ng dollars. So you earn. earn. So yun yung ginagamit nila sa, sa trading. Okay? So this is one of the for the EE, for example, the uh, may CE man dito, so anong kinalaman niyo sa aming, sa aming kurso, sir? Example, nag-experiment kayo. Ano bang kinalaman ng pag-add ng additives doon sa strength ng, ng semento? Okay? Yung mga na question. You can only answer that by, by conducting a experiment kung gamitan yun ng correlation. So meron mang nag-harden nag siya lalo, okay, so may kinalaman talaga yung pag-add ng additives. Kung wala naman, you cannot say kalat siya. Okay? Sinwala siyang kinalaman. Okay, so I will end the, the recording.